In this video, we'll go through exam questions that cover the criteria read, write and use decimals up to two decimal places. You can locate the questions on the massmath.com website under entry 3. The questions come from different exam boards. We'll start with the non-calculated questions and then we'll move to the calculated questions. Here's the first question. Which of these is the smallest number? Tick your answer. We've got 828.3, 828.27, 828.79, 828.8. You can think of this as if it was money. So if you had 828 pounds and 30 pence, 828 pounds and 27 pence, 828 pounds and 79 pence, 828 pounds and 80 pence, which one is the smallest of them all? That's this one because he has only 27 pence after the 828 pounds. I added zeros here to make it easy to compare. And zeros at the end, after the decimal point, they will make no difference. So 828.8 has the same value as 828.80. That's why. And it's always useful to add those zeros at the end. But again, that's only after the decimal point and you finished all the digits. So it's right at the end. So I'm going to take this one because it's the smallest number. Which of these is the smallest number? So 390 390.40, 389.77, 389.90, 390.25. So the numbers before the decimal point are not the same in this question. We've got 390, 389, which is smaller, 389 again, and 390. So 390 is greater than 389, so automatically these are going to be the greatest out of the four. So they can't be smallest. So we're going to focus on these two, 389.77 or 389.90. This is the smallest out of the two because we've got 77 there and not 90. Remember, 77 pence and not 90 pence. So 389.77 is the smallest number. Which of these is the highest number? So we've got 927.5, 927.29, Just like in the first question, they have these digits in front of the decimal point being the same. So 927, 927, 927, 927. For that reason, we need to focus on the digits after the decimal point. So we've got 5 here, we've got 2 here, we've got 7 here, we've got 7 here. Which one is the highest? Is it 5? Is it 2? Is it 7 or 7? Well, 7 is, so that means we've got to focus on C and D. 7, 8, and 7 in its own. So again, we said we can add a 0 here. So that means 78 is higher than 70. So that's why this is the highest decimal overall. So you can think of them as pens if you like, whatever helps you decide. And it might be a bit confusing if I leave both of them, these circles. So I'm going to remove the circles. I'm just going to leave the tick. From now on we can use a calculator. Jamie weighs some of the donuts on a set of digital scales. Which is the heaviest weight? Take your answer. 
25.2 grams, 25.21 grams, 25.12 grams, 25.52 grams. So the digits before the decimal point, they the same, 25, 25, 25. That means we've got to focus on the digits after the decimal point. So we've got just a two here and we can add a zero. So we've got 20, 21, 12, and 52. 52 is higher than 12, 21, or 20. And for that reason, D is overall the heaviest. Write these numbers in order. Start with the smallest. We've got 2.36, 1.74, 6.25, 0.5, 0.5, 4.81. So they all have one digit before the decimal point and they have two digits after the decimal point. The digit that has the highest value is the digit before the decimal point. So if it was money, that would be the pounds. So this is 2, this is 1, this is 6, this is 0, and this is 4. To find the smallest number, we're going to look for the lowest whole number, for the lowest number of pounds. So we look in here, 21604, 0 is the smallest. So 0 0.94 is the smallest decimal out of them all. Then comes 1. So we've got 1.74 coming next. Then we have 2.36, because 2 is greater than 1. And then we have 4.81. And finally, we have 6.25. Aisha decides to keep a running total all the hours she works at the shop. Complete the table to show her running totals for week 5. So we've got week number 1, hours worked 9.5. Running total is 9.5 because that's the total number of hours that they have worked for that first week. Then we've got week 2, hours worked 9.5 again, running total is 19. So that's 9.5. Point five that we had at the end of week one, adding to that 9.5 that have been worked in week two. Then week three, we've got 28.5 running total, which is made of 19 at 9.5. Week four, the running total is 38, and that's made of 28.5 at 9.5. Now we're looking for the running total at the end of week 5. And the way we're going to do that is by going 38 add 9.5. And we can use a calculator for that. So 38 add 9.5 gives us 47.5. And this is the end of the questions.